Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I posted anything. I've uh, been pretty busy with work and other TCGs, so I haven't really got around to any Weiss content or Pokemon stuff like that, but what I want to talk about today is these new Kickstarter TCGs that are blowing up this week. So we have Grand Archive TCG and Nostalgics TCG. Both of these pushed over 800,000 <laughs> in the first week. So we're going to look at the numbers, see who's buying the stuff, and um, yeah, compare it to MetaZoo. If you want to know the answer to the thumbnail, are these games the next MetaZoo? No, they are not. So, <laughs> let's talk about why. So, this is probably what a lot of people are hoping for. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people out there that already know what I'm about to say. You already know what I'm talking about. You don't need to be told this, but these boxes, um, they're not going to be $11,000. They're not going to be $13,500. Um, MetaZoo was an anomaly, and it, it went a lot differently than these new ones are going. So... Let's look at this. MetaZoo Cryptid Nation Kickstarter. So this came out like I think a year and a half ago, something like that. Two years ago maybe. But as you can see here, 18,249 with 255 backers. So pretty humble beginnings and MetaZoo's doing great, right? We're not making fun of them here. This is just uh, to show that this is a lot different of a story than Nostalgics and Grand Archive. So I'll be upfront, I am in both of these games. Um, as you can see here, 134. I got one day zero booster box and the Ando starter kit. So got that for Nostalgics. And as you know, I really love anime, love Weiss. So Grand Archive, definitely something I'm a little more interested in. I did go kind of big on this one with 1491. So just putting that out there so you know that I do have a position in both of these. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the numbers. So here is MetaZoo. Oh, let me get that out of there. So on the top, in the black text, is what I would consider someone that's just interested. Um, this is either a couple packs, a deck, spellbook, or a single booster box, right? So this would just be people that are interested in the game, maybe want to check it out, play around with the cards, pull a couple packs. And then on the bottom is what I would call like an investment tier. This is where people are picking up multiple boxes, you know, multiple boxes, multiple spell books, maybe open some, sell off the rest. So as you can see here, there is seven people. Seven people bought more than one booster box. That's it. <laughs> So, that's just crazy to think about. Only seven people got more than one box. So let's compare that to these newer games. Here's Grand Archive. In the green on the bottom is also what I would call the investment tier. It comes with multiple decks, multiple booster boxes, and as you can see, the huge majority of backers, the huge majority of money is coming from these tiers. So these come with two, I think two, four, twelve, eighteen booster boxes or something like that. They come with a lot of boxes. So when you compare that to what happened here, there's seven people getting more than one box. And here are hundreds of people getting more than four or more than two. I think platinum tier comes with two booster boxes. So... This is just unbelievable, right? As you can see, max on the side, these are all maxed out. I don't know how high these would go. I think a lot of people in the platinum tier would be in the higher tiers if they were open, but they're all full, so just uh, something to think about, you know? 270 people getting one box, one deck, that's pretty decent, shows some kind of interest there, but yeah, Grand Archive huge majority of people are picking up a lot of boxes and let's talk about nostalgics so same story on the bottom is green these are people that are investment tier in my opinion um, they're picking up a bunch of booster boxes few decks and I was gonna include the 249 in this tier but technically it only comes with one of each so 
we'll leave it as white. But I consider that investment tier as well. You can consider it whatever you want, but same story. Vast majority of the money is coming from these tiers. So a lot of people are investing in this, right? We got hundreds of investors here, hundreds of investors here, seven people buying more than one box. So I don't, I don't have to say it over and over again. I mean, you already know what's going on. Everyone probably knows what's going on, but I just wanted to cover this because it's actually really interesting to see what's going on here. And I mean, I'm, I'm excited for both of these games. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm buying both, but um, just be careful if you're trying to you know, park your money in this because there's going to be a lot of people trying to sell off these boxes. So, yeah, just wanted to talk about that. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you're getting in on these games, if you want to check them out, let me know what you think of the cards. And, uh, yeah, see ya.